Hi, I'm Justin Fricky, the foraging cover crop specialist with Millborn Seeds. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take you on a millet tour, okay, so it can give you an idea and give you the understanding so that when you have the options to plant a millet, you can choose the right millet to put up for feed, okay. So this is German millet and uh, we're going to take you to field the Japanese and Proso as well, but German millet, uh, as you can see, we're just starting to head out and this took about 60 days to do that and honestly we're right on the money for when we planted this stuff. One of its biggest attribute uh, is, yes, it's uh, an earlier maturing millet with that 60 day maturity uh, window, but also it's a very high quality millet. Uh, you can see just how leafy it is, wide bladed leaves, so it's a high leaf to stem ratio. That's one of its biggest attributes. Okay, so quality is good, maturity is quick, and the other thing about German millet is it's pretty drought tolerant. Okay, so if you're on sandy light soils or you're in an arid environment, German millet is a, is a great option. Okay, it's you potential is two to three ton, and as dense and as thick, as tall as this stuff is, I think we're probably gonna be pushing that three ton of dry matter per acre. Okay, so it's not your highest yielding millet, uh, but one that's manageable and, and, and really uh, very manageable to put up as dry hay as well. Okay, so this is German millet. Uh, we'll take you and we'll show you a field of Japanese, and then we're gonna show you a field of pearl sow millet as well. So stay tuned for those. All right, so we're out in the field of uh, white proso millet. As you can see, the seed heads are out maturing. Um, this here is about uh, three feet tall, um, so it is ready to be uh, laid down, hayed, put up for feed. Um, some of the unique properties of proso millet, it does grow really, really fast. Obviously, it's a green type millet, but in a year where millet is a short supply for hay millets. Proso millet can be used. It'll make uh, just fine milk with a little bit more stock as you can see to it. It's a little bit hairier. Uh, it's certainly not going to be the quality as like our German or Japanese millet, but still plenty of material here to be hayed. Still gonna put up another uh, two ton of feed off of a field like this. All right, so we're now on to our Japanese millet field. And as you can see, the Japanese millet compared to the Proso and the German is much taller. And that's its attribute. Uh, you would uh, plant Japanese if you want a higher yielding millet. Okay, this stuff is nearly five foot tall. Uh, and it's actually within the same amount of maturity as that German and, the, and that Proso as well. They're planted within about 10 days of each other. Um, so its unique attribute is it's the highest yielding out of those three. Uh, it also prefers heavier ground, muckier, wetter ground, even if it has a little bit of saline issues, Japanese does really well there. Um, so if you got ground like that and you need the highest yielding hay production, Japanese millet is going to be the millet for you, okay? So I hope that gives you an idea of those three types of millets and why you'd choose one over the other. Uh, certainly you can see the plant differences. Just because they're millet doesn't mean that they're going to be the same or act the same or should be placed on the same acre. Um, appreciate you watching. If you have further questions about uh, any of those millets, uh, feel free to give us a call. I'm Justin Fricking. Thanks so much for watching.